here, and then uh, Senator Barnett has got some uh, some wisdom for us. We'll be about any questions. But this this bill, the, the pre-construction cost. Number one, uh, we will quit pre-construction cost only, not mortar and bricks and steel. Uh, some states that have have quit uh, to finance uh, <coughs> these types of projects have their have the ability to uh, to do construction costs. Uh, this one does not. I want that to be clear. I've, I've read lots of things, uh, but this is pre-construction cost only that would be equipped. The second issue that I would uh, like to address, there's been lots of discussion whether we should include in this bill the enhancements for other alternative forms of energy, solar, wind energy, whatever the future may hold. I strongly believe that we need to look at our future energy policy and deal with the future energy policy of the state of Missouri in this bill. And that has to include alternative forms of energy. And uh, while we may fiddle with uh, the enhancements for those other forms, I may floors, I don't know what the solution is, but that is a related issue that we've got to flush out as we, as, as we proceed. As we look at our policy for the future, we as Missourians are really boxed in. Across the years, we have enjoyed uh, coal-fired coal -fired plants. Uh, for those of you that live in section, great sections of Missouri that have ample amount of coal that we used to burn in our, in our energy plants, Mount Rose in my area, other, other plants, those, uh, that coal that's readily available is no longer uh, usable because of uh, new energy policy. Uh, in fact, coal plants totally are a no-no at this point. At this point, so they are they're out of the question to build. And even uh, the clean coal technology that we read about and hear about is probably 20 years away from now for being actual construction, if not 30 years from now. So we're really we're really boxed in. There is no opportunity for hydro, like the Ozarks. Magnum Dam has done a great job across the last 80 years or whatever it's worked. But nobody's talking about about building another dam. Uh, the, the easy thing to do now is to build a natural gas plant. It's easier to permit, it's not quite as expensive, it's easy to get online, it doesn't produce a whole lot, but it, it's there and helps. But what's <coughs> happening, every natural gas plant that we build competes with home heating fuel. Uh, and, and the more natural gas we burn making electricity uh, raises the rates that everybody uses in the state of Missouri if you, if you burn natural gas. So it is not a long-term energy solution, and therefore we're left with this option, which I think is a good option, and that's the option of building a new nuclear plant. Another issue that is related to this bill relates to the folks that say you cannot overturn what the people did in 1976. Looking at the committee, I can see that some of you don't remember 1976 um, in any form. And uh, Senator, yeah, you're the one that you're probably the only person old enough in the to remember <laughs> But uh, there's all different kind of ways to read the vote in 1976. And I would submit to you that it was an anti-nuclear vote. That was a pretty hot issue in, 19, in the 70s and 60s, as folks feared the safety of nuclear plants, and time has proven to be safe. And uh, some countries are in the world, for, for instance, France, uh, produces 80% of their energy burned in France uh, with nuclear fuel. The other part of the, of the vote, the other part of the anti-nuke vote, was an anti-rate increase vote. And I would submit to you today that if we put on a ballot an issue, shall my rates, my electric rates, be frozen until I'm 100 years old? That would pass overwhelmingly. People do not like to have their rates increased for any reason whatsoever. And uh, so the other part of that was a not necessarily a, an anti-quip, but an anti-rate increase. Uh, and finally, there is a sentiment for nobody likes the utility company. Uh, nobody likes the hammer. Nobody likes the rural electric co-op when they're raising rates and the the rural electric co-op that services my home had a 25% rate increase last year, the first one in many, many years. I was in the propane business for many years and 
price was uh, 20 cents a gallon, it was all right. It was all right, but when it went to $1. twenty cents, nobody liked the propane company, not even mine. And people don't like to have their rates increased. It's, uh, it's an issue where it's out of control for people. They have no input on the rate, and they don't, they don't like it. And so there is an issue here of just basically the anti-utility food. I think the bottom line is here we have a choice. We can look at the future and say, we don't want this whipped, and our rates, even though they're going to go up a little, are going to go up a whole lot when this thing's finally built in one huge jump. Or we can choose to pass this bill in some form, equip the pre-construction cost, and have a slight increase in rates throughout the construction, <coughs> and then little if no increase after that it goes online and the energy is being sold. I think the choice here is today, we're looking at tomorrow or the next quarter, the bottom line, we're looking in the future for the energy policy for the state of Missouri. And for that reason, I think TWIP is a good idea, and uh, I hope that this committee will pass it out on the board. Thank you, Mr.